'twas the night before Christmas, and I combined a cheapy ticket on a night flight with some frequent flyer miles my dad put in my name, and poof, I scored an upgrade for a first-class ticket to London. My idea was to surprise Brenda for Christmas, but when I rang the bell to her flat, you'll never guess who answered the door. Oh my! Look what we have here! It's the Minnesota twin. Of course, I rushed to judgment and assumed that Brenda broke down and was sleeping with her teacher that got her into the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, the infamous Roy Randolph, until he explained he was house sitting. Your sister is in Edinburgh, working on a very hush, hush one woman show, which opens tonight. Roy explained that Brenda built up a rabid fan base in Scotland last summer after being the female lead in a sketch comedy about Shakespeare that took first place at the renowned Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Randolph was about to head to King's Crossing to catch the Scottish Express and wondered if I wanted to join him. I said, pip, pip, cheerio, let's go, laddie buck. But first, we must stop for a pint at Brenda's favorite pub, Barnaby's, which is just down the road at Tavistock Place. Turns out Barnaby's caters to the wannabe theater crowd, and Brenda is the yank that everybody loves. I saw Brenda on stage one evening, and she was brilliant. I'd come in here afterwards for a drink, and she came in after the show finished with some of the other actors. We got talking at the bar, and uh, we hit it off straight away. Everyone loves her in here. Um, she talks to everybody, and she's the life and soul of the party. I was in a play with Brenda last year, and I can tell you, the girl is insanely talented. I like some of us here. It's true. It's the Miyasu Brenda. I came all the way from Paris just to see Brenda's new play. I love her so much. She's such an amazing actress. Oh, Brenda is so much fun. She's always making me laugh and cheering me up. We both love to dance, so every time we go dancing, we have a blast on the dance floor. I love hanging out with Brenda. Yeah, I agree. I love Brenda. I love hanging out with her and dancing with her and drinking ale. She's just so much fun to be around. Her sense of style is amazing. She always helps me pick out the best clothes. She has this effortlessness about how she dances and how she talks to others. She's always the first on the dance floor. I just love being her friend. No wonder so many people love her. Hey, get out of here. I'm trying to have a drink in a pub. Who's this Brenda? Everyone sure likes her. <laughs> what is this? This is Brandon from California. California. We've been in London 35 years. Kev. From Korea. Brandon is Brenda's twin. Everybody loves Brenda. <laughs> loves Brenda. Everybody. Which one's Brenda? Hey, how you doing? I'm not really from this area. I'm just waiting for my girlfriend from France to come here, Claire Arnold. Um, what's the whole hubbub about here today? Well, uh, Brenda Walsh is on tonight. She's one of our favorite performers. She's an American like us, and she's the best around. Everyone loves her. Where can I find out more about Brenda Walsh? Hey, why don't you ask her over there? Uh, that's her high school principal. Brandon, is that you? Of course it's you. I followed you to London. It is cold here. I am here because you still owe me two hours of detention. Yes, two hours. And they won't let me retire until I can take it off my books. I just came to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, humbug. Brenda was to see the actor, but the actor's acting is the actor's acting, but it's the actor's acting. Are they supposed to bring us some piggy pudding soon? Oh, Brenda! I met her at a bar after one of her performances. Such a talented girl and absolutely stunning. She kept ordering banana daiquiris. Then she just couldn't stop talking about how in love she was with some guy named Dylan. That's who it was. I tell you, she was head over heels for him. Oh, Brenda, oh man, I love Brenda. She and I, we met, we met when I was 
studying abroad in London, uh, we met at a bar and she kept doing these shots that she called Lavoin. Uh, they reminded her of her back home. And it was like some stuff with some peach schnapps or something. And you do enough of those and boy, you're bound to show your Joey Tatas. I like Brenda, but I've seen her last performances and, well, they were just okay. Felice, don't be ridiculous. Brenda's amazing. Really. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But that wasn't the crazy part. The crazy part was how much the singer in the pub looked like an older version of Allison, the smoking hot lesbian who literally burned in that house fire with Kelly. May your dreams be merry and bright and may all... As much as I liked her voice, we had a train to catch. We were settling up at the cash register when one of the bartenders rushed over to hand Randolph a fax that Brenda had just sent. Oh, wow. It's a printed program for tonight's show. I didn't quite know what to say when he handed me the fax and I saw the name of the play was The Triangle. And the director was none other than Dylan McKay. All I could think to say came straight from Dickens. Merry Christmas and God bless everyone. Christmas as we were.